Hey everyone, it's Synth Designer back again with another video. Today I want to continue our series on the complete guide to Serum 2. If you're not familiar with the series, I talk about all things Serum 2, some of the new features, some of the older ones from Serum 1, and just what makes this synthesizer as great as it is. If you haven't seen my previous episodes, please go take a look and let me know what you think in the comments below. Today I'll be looking at the spectral mode. This is an all new mode in Serum. And much like the granular mode, this is very much experimental and much different than what you usually see with kind of wavetables. And as always, I wanna to go to the user guide and just take a look. The spectral mode is one that generates sound by analyzing and manipulating the frequency spectrum of a sound breaking it down into its inv individual frequency components or partials, unlike other synthesis methods that operate directly on the waveform, spectral synthesis focuses on harmonic and inharmonic content, allowing for precise control and timbre and evolution of sound. So this one is quite different, but as always, a definition won't do much. What will really get us going is just getting an idea of some of the sounds. So let's try this one. And then maybe this one. So that is a very basic kind of piano sound. But you can hear there's a lot more to it than you, what you would regularly hear from a piano sound. And of course, as always, we can change the length of it. And we can make it a loop. So we get that initial transience of a piano, but then we change things up. The cool thing here too, is we have this filter option right here. So rather than relying on this filter here, we can go right into this filter and shape it as we want. We can actually change the grids first of all. So if we wanted to up the grids to get more control, we could do that and then just by simply moving this around, you can change part of the frequency. So we're obviously changing the frequency there. We can shape it this way. It's almost like an EQ band here. And then there's plenty of different types here. So this rezo spike, there's also and all these points can be moved. So it really allows for incredible control here. Let's just go back to the default. And by double clicking, you can make your own very simply. So if we don't want as much lower end here, This filter really allows us to shape things very precisely, which is really nice. So let's just turn that down for a sec. And then we can also change it through the mix here if we want. Change the cut of it. So pretty amazing control over your sounds there. So it's really one of these modes that focuses more, like it said, on the harmonic content and not necessarily the wave shape that creates it. So if we were to look at more of these factory sounds, let's take one of these flutes maybe. Of course, the settings that you set for one will go to the next one. So if we wanted to start over, we just go to init preset, go back to spectral, and then go back to the flute here. I forget which one it was already, but let's just take this one. So really nice, rich sounds that you could get just from the factory settings, sounds. And another option here is to use this. 
as you can see it's its own kind of filter so this is the lower end of the spectrum and then this is the higher end so if you want to cut off some of the highs and if we want to adjust the lows or just the highs you can move things around easily and if we just want to focus on this and let's go back to a loop and then maybe just crossfade so not as extend this out maybe a little bit So you really can experiment around and just decide what you would like with these sounds. Of course, much like a lot of the other ones that we use and we saw before, like the granular mode or the multi-sampling, you don't have to be stuck with just that sample. You can really make it your own and kind of be creative. In this particular example, use those filters a lot and kind of get creative with what you would like to see with it. Just like the wavetables, you could also warp things if you want. So it's about really experimenting and shaping the sound that you want with envelopes, filters, and effects. I don't want to spend too much time on this one. It's really a matter of experimentation, as I said, with the granular mode as well. Just get in there and experiment and see what you can create. Anyway, let me know what you think of this video and this series. If you feel like I missed something from this mode, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.